What's up YouTube? Last week's MS Monday discussed getting pregnant while taking Thai Sabri to manage your multiple sclerosis symptoms. So this week I wanted to talk about what happens after you deliver that bundle of joy and you go home. What could possibly go wrong, right? With Michael, my neurologist said that the pregnancy hormone should protect me for about eight weeks postpartum. That would give me time to bond and breastfeed and figure things out, but it didn't happen that way. Two weeks postpartum, I noticed my symptoms coming back manageable, but they were coming back and that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks because you want to breastfeed. I wanted to breastfeed. I just, you know, that's just what I really, really, really wanted to do and it just got me in a lot of trouble. It was mostly like, oh, my body's going numb, and specifically in my feet, a little bit in my stomach, which I thought maybe that's just pregnancy related and not MS, but it turns out it wasn't pregnancy related. And then at three weeks is when, <laughs> this sucks, but my family started to become concerned because we live in a two story and I had to start sleeping downstairs. I had to start sleeping on the couch because I couldn't walk with Michael, or I could, but nobody wanted me to walk up and down the stairs with an infant, which, you know, that that it is a good concern to have. Then at four weeks, I made my appointment with the doctor and I was like, something is not right. This was not supposed to happen. This was not a part of my plan. Um, I was supposed to get to breastfeed for longer than this. Like, I felt so just taken advantage of and robbed by my own body because I at least wanted to do what a natural woman's body is supposed to do for at least a month or two. It really, really sucked. When I started going back to the neurologist, I was taking steroids to bring the inflammation down just to get to a status quo and it was just on an as needed basis, something like two or three times a week and then I was put on an oral taper which really really sucked because it's 12 days and throughout this entire time of trying to just be able to walk again, I was pumping and dumping. Anybody who has ever pumped and dumped for more than just after a night out of drinking knows that your supply drops. It's just not something you want to do because you have to just pour it down the drain. All that work. You still have to wake up every three or four hours to pump because that's what a normal infant would do. You have to bottle feed them and pump and it's just so much work, but I was determined to breastfeed as long as I could. Okay, so I got back to normal, sort of, just like I could walk normal. Then I started Copaxon injections because it's, I believe, a class B drug, so it's safer than Tysabri and that's what my ped said was okay and my neurologist said was okay if you have to take your medicine and you want to breastfeed then you just it class B works except Copaxon sucked it sucked so bad it didn't do anything it didn't make me feel better even a little bit so total of I believe five months after Michael was born, I was back on Tice Avery. It probably made my life a lot easier, but it just sucked. Just ruined every idea I had on what motherhood was supposed to be right after I had that silly, cute Michael baby. Just... <sighs> this time, I'm just mentally preparing myself like, okay, so I'm going to breastfeed this child, he or she, whatever it is, for a week. 
Like, I've been telling myself that the entire 19 weeks I've been pregnant. I'll just breastfeed for a week and all will be well because now I have another child to take care of, myself to take care of, and a baby. So, yeah, it, like, it makes more sense this time and I wish I would have known before, so that's why maybe this will help somebody out there just mentally prepare for what could possibly happen after you have your child. Not saying it will, but I'm saying you need to be prepared for not being able to do something and not get so hung up on it because and you get all depressed and stuff. Leave your questions down below if you want to know anything about my pregnancy uh, after I delivered or yada yada. Anything related to MS or pregnancy, leave it in the comments and I will get back with you until next week. Goodbye.